for the longest time, I would see stocks and I'd be like, that's going down. And then 20 minutes later, it continues to go down. Or I think it's going to go up and it continue to go up. But the moment I press that button, things would not work. I know how that feels and it's frustrating. And a lot of that didn't make sense to me because there's a lot of things I didn't know. As a new trader, there's things you don't know because you just don't know. You don't understand how to do it properly yet. And so I want to go into detail with an absolute game changer for me. And it's as simple as showing you in detail how I determine what's a key level and how I use it to place a trade. And so that way you can take just the general concepts and apply it to your own trade and your own strategy. And I hope it can help you in some way. Again, this is something that's helped me dramatically. So I'm hoping it could possibly help you as well. So let's get into the chart. So I'm going to pick a couple of random tickers and I really want you to pay attention here. And we're going to just understand what I'm looking for in the grand scheme and then kind of show you how I execute the trades. So first off, if you're liking this type of content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and definitely share this with another trader because it helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. So the first thing I'm doing when I look at AMD is I always want to find out where are key areas where a lot of people are stuck. Where was there a lot of reaction, right? I'm looking at both of those. Where is it that people are stuck and where are the levels that have the most action? And how do I determine that? So let me show you this, this right here. And I'm going to explain each and one of these. Okay. I'm going to explain each one of these here in a minute, but I want to show you and hopefully you pick up something that stands out for you as well. And if not, don't worry, I'm going to explain it. When you look at this chart here, I'm going to zoom out now and you'll see if we even, I'm going to continue to draw what's key areas to me. And we're going to zoom back in. And so these levels, let me explain these levels. Each one of these levels show that there's major reaction. That is so important for me to determine, is this a key level or not? That's what I use every single day and it's helped me dramatically. Maybe it can help you too. And let me show you this. Can you see the other levels? Cause there's other ones in this chart that I have not drawn yet. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Go ahead and draw them. Of course, you're drawing them in your mind, but hopefully you picked out these levels. It's very simple, right? Like nothing's complicating here. Everything's very simple. And these are major areas of reaction, right? Either people have bought in these areas and they're stuck now, or people are selling in these areas. So it's an important supply zone, right? These are very important. So bear with me, I want to make this very simple, but I also don't want to skip anything. This chart's going to get a little crowded because of the explanations, but whenever I trade, I don't draw all these circles. I don't do any of that. I just draw lines. That's it. So now that we know that these are areas of interest, let's go ahead and draw key zones for us. We'll see that this area is a key zone, right? We'll see that all of these areas that we talked about are key areas. And it just so happens to be that these areas all ended up holding at one point or another, right? You can see that. And if we extend this line, you see that it's no shock that it's reacting at these key areas. I'm hoping this really sheds some light. This is ticker AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. A lot of you guys know who this is. I'm a big gamer. I like trading AMD on a regular basis, but this works for all stocks. It doesn't matter which stock it is. For me, I would trade it as long as I see key levels. Now, the next important point is if it is touched at least more than once is very important to me. So all of these levels, are pretty much touched more than once, which means I am interested in trading in these zones. Doesn't mean that I'm just gonna execute right away. It doesn't mean I'm gonna take the trade because I see it, because I used to do that and I would have so much choppiness in my PL curve. It would constantly be choppy because I just thought, okay, support by resistance short. If trading was that easy, you wouldn't be watching this. Everyone would be killing it just by knowing this one idea, which everyone knows, right? So if you stuck with me this far, make sure you share this content with another trader because it means a lot for us and I really appreciate it. But let me show you this. I also want to see reactions at these areas. So if we zoom in, let's go ahead and go to this day right here. If we, and I actually traded AMD today. 
So I'll show you those executions in a minute. I wish it was beautiful and it looked amazing, but it's not. I'm human, I make mistakes, but it ended up being a good trade. But if we go ahead and zoom in here, what I'm looking for is some type of reaction. And you'll see in this area, which is a key area on the chart because it held as resistance on this day. We consolidated, pushed back up, held for a moment, failed then pushed above and acted as support. Resistance becoming support. And then when we break it, support should become resistance. And what happens? We popped all the way back up here and this is where I'm interested. What I'm gonna look for is reaction. What happens up here? Do we get a double top? Do we get a trend line crack? Do we get a exhaustion candle? Do we get a doji candle? Like I'm looking for a reason to be in this trade. I'm looking for it. Doesn't mean it's gonna give it to me. If you zoom in on the one minute, you'll see, if you take this short just because you see it getting up here, it can be choppy, it can get uncomfortable, you can take a lot of unnecessary losses, and it's part of trading. In fact, I actually took a loss on this even though it ended up working, and then I got right back in. Now here's something I wanna highlight. When I took that loss, it was not on the full position, it was on partial of the position because I was trying to tighten up and take a much bigger position on the play, in other words, make a winner a bigger winner, right? Take advantage of sizing into your winners instead of adding to a loser, which we'll talk about in another video. But with the ads, I cut those very quickly and I'm only gonna hold the main core. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for some type of sign. In this case, we get a nice little trend line crack. We also have a nice little double top that happens right here, which is the really good sign, this little triple top and fail with the reaction behind it, that is the clear, obvious sign. However, there are also some other signs. We get a nice little hammer candle rejection, followed by two other red candles, which I really love, and then a push with some reaction at the zone. So I took the trade in this area because I'm feeling confident that we're gonna hold this, er this level, and if we do, I wanna be in it, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the trade. And you can see, when I show you the executions here, I took the trade, sized in more, cut the size, and re-added it back right away, and wrote the trade down, and even took some more ads as it started to work, and covered those as well. So I took really good advantage of this trade, but let me explain it in detail though. When I go full size and start to go in, my idea is to risk above the zone. So that's anywhere in this area, right above this line. If it, if it breaks above 9880s, I am out no matter what. But if it fails in the zone, I may risk above this candle. Every specific example is unique. Trading is not black and white. If you just take what someone says, including myself, and just apply it as black and white, you will be a frustrated trader as I was for a long time because I've taken everything in my life black and white and I had to accept this new lesson that that's just not how life is and trading. Just understand, you will pick different stops depending on the setup. In this case, I put a stop right above this candle because we have a triple top. If we break above the triple top, I'm not gonna hold that. This just doesn't make sense. So in this case, I will hold it for the move. Now let's go ahead and look at another example. If we zoom in here, you'll see that we hit this zone again. And if you want to take the trade multiple times, you absolutely can. I mean, this rejected again, bounce a lower high, you can take a trade and risk above this area. That is something that I would do again and again. However, I do not trade in the afternoon because I do like my freedom and I like to do other things besides just trade. I run a small business, I run the YouTube channel, there's a lot of things cooking here. So I want to make sure that I trade in the morning and not in the afternoon. I will trade the afternoon sometimes, but I want to show you that it happened again near the close. And this one I probably would have taken if I was watching because this is a beautiful rejection candle that I love and I would take the trade on the next candle. This could have worked out very well. And you can see if you get in here at 98.40, risk 50, it's 10 cents. This dropped all the way to 97.80. It's a great risk reward, easily three to one. And this is what I want you to see. Now, you're probably thinking, what about longs? So it works the same way for longs. As you can see, when we zoom in at this zone, when we broke above it and then we start to hold, what is this, what is this right here? We broke above it, failed, recovered and started to hold it as support. When volume comes in, this is the biggest green candle since these last, what, eight or nine candles, and it breaks above this area, that is a good idea with a tight risk reward, and then you can ride it up. This is what I mean by there's so many opportunities out there, but you gotta be selective and you have to take your time and wait 
for them to yell at you. And you have to make sure you apply your risk management. And just because it works for me, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, but I do, can tell you that this is the way I trade every single day and it's what has really helped me. So if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to share with another trader. And again, thanks for watching. God bless.